Hey friends, good morning, and welcome to Mindful Morning with Tiffany. Um, so today we're going to start with a little bit of journaling. I need to grab my journal, and I just messed with my record player for a few minutes, and it's still not working. Um, and even after I asked my husband to like help me out with it, it still isn't working, so we're just going to chalk it up to... <laughs> It is broken, <laughs> which I'm kind of sad about. So let me go get my journal. Go ahead and get your journal so we can get started. Um, have you seen my journal? <laughs> okay, I have no idea where it's at. <laughs> Honestly, my kids might have taken it or something. So we are going to just write it down on a piece of paper, which sometimes that's what you gotta do. Just write stuff down on a random piece of paper. So, oh, he found it in the shoes. <laughs> okay, so this morning, let's go ahead and begin with like getting whatever it is that's in your brains on paper. Um, so today I think it's what the 23rd I don't even know what the date is so you can begin with the date at the top maybe it's the 24th <laughs> all my days are running together um good morning good morning hello hi uh, welcome 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 so um so for today uh go ahead and write down whatever it is it's like Maybe just coming up this morning so it could be like I have so much to do I'm stressed this and that um, it might be something like uh, I have nothing to do don't plan on doing anything um, a lot of people look at Sundays like a, a reset day which is great you know do you um, but just remind yourself like if you're going to reset like also plan time to rest as well if that's your thing um, if it's just a normal work day for you, then, you know, it's a normal work day. Maybe um, just plan a little bit of extra uh, rest at the end of your day. Whatever it ends up being. The 24th. Thank you. Thank you for telling me. <laughs> so now I'll write that down. <laughs> um, I usually look at my phone date, like, right beforehand, and I was messing with my record player. And so it just is what it is. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to write down was I was really tired when I woke up this morning. I wake up at five and then I go live at six. So it like gives me time to kind of like wake up. I'm not like immediately like, pew, like in your face because I'm, that's just not me. <laughs> um, when I first wake up, I need coffee. I need to like give myself a moment to wake up. And if that's you too, then I get you. Um, people who can do that, like amazing. I just ripped a wet one. Good for you. <laughs> Love my way. She's sitting. Love the way she's sitting. Okay. Um, anyways, uh, let's go ahead and just write down whatever it is that is coming up for you. So, um, mine is, uh, did not want to wake up this morning. I was very tired. And if you guys have been following my stories, you saw that I went to Monterey yesterday. Um, I live in Central Valley, California, and so we drove for three hours on Friday night. Got to a hotel really late, so we could wake up and take the kids to the aquarium yesterday. And it was wonderful. Uh, I did not realize how crazy the Monterey Bay Aquarium is. Um, yeah, I mean, it's like a world-known like aquarium um people come from all over the world to like visit and it's beautiful it's like right in my backyard essentially it's only a couple hours from me so very lucky to be able to go and experience that with my kids um it just was crazy like they don't even sell tickets at the gate like that's how crazy the monterey bay aquarium is you have to buy tickets like in advance like online and they were like yeah maybe if somebody like returns a ticket this morning you can maybe could get one I was like what so we plan to like just go and buy tickets and uh, like at the gate that's not what you do at the Monterey Bay Aquarium <laughs> 
So we ended up buying a season pass. So we now need to go another, <laughs> another time, which we're fine with. Um, God bless spandex. Okay. Uh, anyways, why are people the way they are? These comments. Yeah, I know. Goodbye. Uh, I don't know who you are. Manage. Um, block. I need an admin now. <laughs> so. Anyways. Usually my room isn't this busy. <laughs> we don't. We aren't like you know, in here for like high crowds. We're in here for like chill morning routine vibes. So I'm not about, you know, getting a ton of viewers. I'm about like actually helping people like find a morning routine. So, okay. So anyways, long story to get to the point. I like yesterday when we drove home, I like took a nap. When I got home, I was tired. I took another nap. And then I went to bed last night and woke up this morning and was exhausted. And maybe I just needed extra rest. Who knows? But I didn't want to wake up this morning. Um, so that's what I'm writing down. So after you write down your thing, um, I want you to write the numbers one, two, three. And um, go ahead and just like write them like right here. Honey, you need mods. This place is full of trolls. Seriously, the thing is, is like usually what my lives end up being is um, <clears throat> like 10 people. <laughs> so I'm just kind of like surprised that people are even lingering. But who knows? Maybe the right people are. <laughs> um, so now that you've written down your one, two, threes, what I want you to do is... Um, just write down what you're grateful for. So this morning, um, coffee is always number two for me. And that's the thing too, like it can be the same thing. Um, if you're like, I don't know what I'm grateful for. Sometimes like many, many days in a row, it'll be the same for me. And then like one day something will happen and I'll say something else. So um, I'm actually grateful that I was able to like go on that trip. So a, a quick little overnight trip. And I'll write that down. And then the last thing I'll put down is community. And the actual community, not the trolls that are like writing down weird things about spandex and how I'm sitting and ripping things. All right. So there's that. Um, next, we're going to do some meditations. What did you write again? Okay. So the topic is just what we're grateful for. So anything that you're grateful for, um, it could be, um, you know, something really simple like coffee community. It could be something um, more elaborate. Like I said, I, I went to the Monterey Bay Aquarium and I was able to um, have that experience with my kids and I really am grateful for that. Um, it might be something really big, like I'm grateful for the life that I have or it might be something like really like small in your mind something like a tv show that you just like love to watch um like 90 day fiance for me <laughs> um yeah so i hope that helps um and now we're gonna go ahead and do some meditation so go ahead and find a comfortable seat um i am thankful for my jewish community yes i love that i bet they're amazing sending you like all the amazing grateful vibes all right so go ahead and find a seat it doesn't have to like look like mine you don't have to like be sitting um, I'm sitting on a bolster um, if you don't have to be sitting on the ground you can be sitting in a chair you can be laying down you can um, be standing up like meditation can look however you want it to look uh, you don't even have to close your eyes. You can just like have a super duper soft gaze. So go ahead and lift up your chest and maybe just kind of feel into the body. Move your shoulders a little bit. Maybe even bring your arms back, bring your arms forward. And just kind of settle in, right? You can have your hands, uh, palms face up, and this is, would be to receive whatever it is that you're wanting or palms face down for um, some grounding. Um, and I'm going to do palms face down, uh, and it's up to you to kind of decide, right? So whenever you're ready, let's go ahead and just kind of shut down the eyes. And that might mean, um, 
closing them or it may mean just softening that gaze. And let's take a deep inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. Ah, deep inhale. Open mouth, exhale. Ah. And then let's just begin to seal the lips and breathe in through the nose and out through the nose, finding that ujjayi breath. Sipping in the air, counting to four, five, or six. Exhaling, finding that same count. So if you inhale, it would be paced like this. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. And you could do that to five or six or whatever number you'd like. If it feels comfortable, you can place one hand on the belly, one hand on the heart. And as you inhale, the belly kind of pushes out, maybe even the chest lifts a little bit. Exhale, it gets a little bit smaller. This helps to connect to your body and just really feel your body moving and breathing. And then today, let's just focus on our bellies and sending some love to our bellies, maybe thinking, when was the last time we sent love to our bellies? Was it today? Was it yesterday? Was it never? So just say thank you belly for existing on my body. Thank you for digesting my food. Thank you for holding in all my organs. I appreciate you and you don't need to change a thing. So as you inhale, I want you to think, I love, and then exhale, my belly. And let's just do this for maybe five full breaths. On that next exhale, let's bring our hands together in a prayer position, tuck our chin, and just thank ourselves for showing up today and being here and present for this mindful practice. All right, whenever you're ready, let's just go ahead and find a seat, something comfortable, and we'll start to move a little bit. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for following. Love my shirt. This is my brand. <laughs> this is my brand. It's just to grow. I actually have a few extras. I should promote, be promoting them a little bit. Um, oh my God, I haven't seen your video in ages. You've lost so much weight. Oh, yeah. I have a YouTube on that. I'm grateful for this quiet space you've set aside for us to have a relaxing morning. Yay. I love when y'all share. Makes me so happy. Morning, morning. Okay, so let's go ahead and just find a seat. So our seat um, could look like legs crossed, like how I'm having my legs crossed. It could also have, be like legs extended, it could be like um, legs out in front of you. So however you want um, your practice to look like, it might even be like one leg in, one leg out. Um, you might even be sitting in a chair. Um, and if your hips are like this, you might even, extend your legs or you can grab a prop i have like a block handy but you could even take a towel and roll it up place it under your knees and that way your legs aren't just kind of hovering and um when our muscles are kind of hovering like this they tend to cramp so giving them some sort of a support will make it so that you could just like relax your legs because not everybody's hips are open right so you have to kind of work with what you've got I've never told my belly I loved it. Felt strange yet a relief. Yay! Okay. Um, yeah, my belly love workshops are like, like the best. <laughs> so like just simple actions towards your belly and um, every single one of my yoga practices online include belly love. 
all of them. So if you've never taken a class with me, I would say go check out my courses because all of them include that. And so if you're needing some help with some self-love vibes, um, that's a really good place to start because a lot of times people don't realize like loving yourself doesn't just mean like you flip a switch. You literally need to like be touching your body. You need to like say things to, to each of your body parts. You need to like pause and reflect and process like why have I never done this before? And so, um, it, there's so many things I could go into, but, um, I need that LOL. Uh, gonna do it. Your style is so unique and wonderful. Thank you. Oh, I'm so glad that you found me. All right, so let's go ahead and just begin. Um, you can just kind of wiggle our shoulders and then let's circle the arms, reaching up, lifting up, and we'll just find a little bit of movement. Maybe even grab opposite elbows and just kind of feel into our bodies. And you can just reach your arms up, maybe even lean back. This is like, what does it feel, what feels good in our body? Like, this is what we're checking on. And then maybe bring our elbows out wide and then back up. This is just kind of checking our shoulder mobility. You're just kind of scooping in a way. And then bring them all the way forward. Uh, maybe even kind of interlacing our fingers, one hand on top of the other to give ourselves some leverage. And we can do it on the other side. Bring our hands down to the ground, maybe walk our fingers forward. <sighs> Tuck our chin to our chest, maybe lean to the left, lean to the right. I like to just kind of start in like a very gentle way. And as I lean to the right, my low back is like, oh my God. So I'm gonna just hold this for a moment. <sighs> and usually my back kind of settles down. I like to rock a little bit. That's the thing too, like a lot of times we'll feel something and then we don't lean into it and then we feel it again, we don't lean into it and then it's our body's way of just kind of like saying like, hey, <laughs> I need attention. And um, if we don't listen, then that's when we injure ourselves. Hands behind you, go ahead and extend your legs and switch. And that might look kind of like um, maybe opposite leg gets extended. Maybe your legs go wider, maybe more narrow. So just kind of switch the position of your legs. So next inhale, circle the arms up, reach up again, lean to the left, lean to the right. And so we're just kind of finding the same kind of action, grabbing opposite elbows, feeling into our bodies. On that next exhale, sit tall, feel in, and then forward fold. Uh, <laughs> can you do some foot stretches? I'm not doing any foot stretches this morning. <sighs> Thank you. I love this. Yay. Go ahead and walk your hands back. Lift up your chest. Inhale. Let's open up the arms and lift up our chest. Maybe lift up your chin. And then exhale. Wrap our arms around ourselves. And it might look like this. It might look like this. However you wanna wrap your arms around yourself, it might look like this. Like, do this in a way that feels good. I like to kinda of get a shoulder back stretch, so if I kinda of like reach for my opposite shoulders, I can kinda of feel that, and you can do that by grabbing opposite elbows and just kinda of leaning that, um, your chest forward, so I'm like rounding my back a lot. Because not everybody has that flexibility to kind of line up our elbows. So offering this, this gets you the same stretch. Inhale, open up, and we'll do that the other side. So grab those opposite elbows, lean forward. You can also kind of bring your hands to the belly to just kind of cement that like self-love vibe. Or you could wrap your arms around yourself. I like to call this my love yourself arms. I love you. I love myself. <laughs> it feels silly sometimes, but like when you do it over and over and over again, then you're like, oh, actually, like that makes sense. <laughs> it makes sense to send love to my body. Let's inhale, circle again. This time I, I'll reach up and then think about like holding a beach ball above my fingers. Uh, shoulders are away from ears. And then I'm just twisting my chest go towards my right leg. My right hand comes to my right hip. 
my left hand comes to my left leg and I'm still in that twist, so I inhale, lift up my chest, I exhale, twist, and I look over my right shoulder. Inhale, I lengthen. So maybe I come back a little bit, and then exhale, twist. Do that one more time. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. And I'm not like pushing to force myself to twist, I'm just gently kind of feeling into it. And then we'll come back to center, my right hand comes back to my leg, inhale, I circle. Shoulders away from ears, twist to the other side, left hand, left hip, right hand, right leg, inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist, and we're not pushing, we're gently twisting, inhale, maybe come back to center a little, exhale, twist, look over that left shoulder. On that next exhale, left hand comes all the way back. Inhale, let's circle the arms. Exhale, let's just fold all the way back down. Chin comes to the chest and maybe we walk our hands out. And then let's walk our hands back. All right, friends. I think that is it for my movement practice. We got a lot of like upper torso. I even felt that in my hips a lot. If you want to join me on a regular basis, uh, be sure to sign up for my email list. You can do that, the link in my bio. I also have a free 60 minute class on self-love. So if you're like, I want to just start, um, that's a good place to start. Um, and that uh, gives you an option to like register your email there as well. I have a bunch of um, offerings on my website like uh, yoga for complete fat beginners and um, finding your worthiness 75 days to self-love challenge there's like so many different uh, yoga slash self-love and like yoga for true beginners because I, I feel like I've heard the story so many times where people say this is a beginner yoga class and then at some point you're doing a handstand or some sort of crazy standing balancing posture and you're like this is not for beginners <laughs> Those are very advanced um, postures that should really be reserved for people in a moderate or advanced class. So my, my classes do not include any of that. It is very gentle. Most of the practices are seated. We, we learn about breath. We learn about teaching, um, like how different teachers will say things and like how you could respond um, as far as like uh, if they offer a pose and you're not sure what to do I give you instructions on like how to do it um, so there's lots of things in that beginners uh, course and then I also have a membership so every month I upload new stuff to my membership and everything from yoga classes to tarot card readings to like I have a relationship check-in with my husband that I've been posting which people have been loving because um, we really focused on our marriage in the last couple of years and I share that there so you can really see like what a check-in looks like, like what our date nights look like, um, those kinds of things. Um, so just, I just really want to help people, uh, find self-love, find love in a way that feels really good. And so that's what all of my offerings are very much centered around. So you should go check it out. Thank you for this. You're welcome. You're just what I was looking for. I express so much gratitude uh, to you. Oh, I'm so glad. Um, I feel the love like a warm hug wrapped around me after this. Yay. I love that. Thank you for sharing my live. Thank you for being here. Good to see you. <laughs> Yay. That felt great. Thank you. We'll check the website. Oh, I'm so, I'm so happy. You're so inspiring. What time do you normally start these sort of lives? Okay. So I start them every morning at 6 a.m. Pacific uh, on my time. So if you are um, in a different time zone, just like check it check and see like what time that is roughly, but it's usually this time minus 27 minutes <laughs> it's what um what time i usually start and um yeah i also uh let's see i also have a costa rica trip that's coming up and i'm teaching two very intensive two hour long workshops that i will not be offering anywhere else one of them is a belly love workshop and one of them is a body acceptance workshop because um 
we need to make time for that. We need to make time to understand like why we aren't accepting ourselves, figuring out the root of everything. Um, and that workshop will be intense. And we already have 11 people sign up for the trip. I think I have two more that might be signing up today and only 20 people um, can go on the trip. So if you're interested in traveling with me, uh, you should check out that link too and you can kind of see. We will be hiking a volcano, visiting a hot springs, making tortillas, like there's so many things that we're gonna be doing on top of yoga every single day. There'll be yoga in the jungle, yoga on the beach, um, maybe meditation at the top of the volcano. Like the cool thing about um, this trip is that every day I can kind of uh, work with our tour guide and figure out the best place that we can practice yoga. And so it doesn't have to be in like a stuffy yoga room. It could be somewhere along the trip. And so that's kind of the exciting part of this and then we have the two workshops that are set aside um, specifically so that we can dive deep into self-love and body acceptance because I think those two things um, we just a lot of people just don't even know where to start so it's a good place um, to kind of start so if you're interested go check it out um, and uh, you could also just sign up for my emails and I'll be talking about it over the next few months. It'll be April next year that we're gonna be going to Costa Rica. And then once that trip um, sells out, there may be another trip offering. Um, and I'm not sure, but it might be uh, hiking in Utah. Like that was like the next thing that was like really big um, request from a lot of people when I did my survey a couple months ago. So that might be the next thing, which I've never done that before and it would be so fun to kind of connect with everybody in that way. Um, let's see, thank you for today. You're welcome, seated next to your 80 year old self. What advice about life would she tell you and your younger self? Interesting. Um, I just, I, I don't know. I think right now, like my focus is um, creating like loving relationships in every aspect of my life. So um, with my children, with my husband, with um, my friends, like that is such a really big, and myself creating that loving relationship with everybody. I would say sitting next to me, she would, she would look at me and go, e you know, everything that you're doing ends up being like the reason why people are happy like when I, I think when ever I think about somebody who's older I think about that Maya Angelou quote where uh, she says uh, people won't remember like the things you did but they'll always remember how you made them feel and so I hope that she she would say something along the lines of um, you made people feel loved <laughs> you made people feel good about themselves and you were a source of comfort and care and love and like you everything that you were wanting to manifest happened so i'm hoping that that's I, i'm not even hoping i know that that's what's gonna happen <laughs> how do i find your website um link in bio uh it's tiffanycrow.com so uh it should be somewhere on there if not um because my link in bio just changed recently but it is tiffanycrow.com you do, and I don't even know you. Oh, that's so sweet. Um, but yeah, I just feel like the most important thing in life is just creating a loving relationship. Um, and I think that kind of trickles down to all the other things in life. So <clears throat> it creates happy memories. It creates um, love and like good things, right? When you kind of like start with a love and you're not starting with like judgment or anger or frustration, it's not like that doesn't exist in my life, <clears throat> but I work really hard to notice when I feel those things and go, okay, yeah, that sucks. <laughs> I'm frustrated. I need to breathe. <clears throat> and my husband and I are both like very hyper aware of each other. Like when one of us is like not feeling right and then we both are very conscious about giving the other like the space to process whatever's going on i think you need a partner like that for sure like somebody who is understanding 
of that. And then that way, it's not like the expectation is for you to be happy and loving all the time. It's like, sometimes I don't feel very good. I feel over stimulated or, um, you know, all the things, angry, frustrated. My kids are driving me nuts, whatever it is. And then I could like come back to me like, okay, I'm not really, I don't need to feel those things. Like I understand I'm feeling them and I'm gonna let it go. And then like, let's come back to the way I want to feel, you know? So <clears throat> all that stuff. Girl, I wanna cuss out that yoga studio. <laughs> Thank you for the rose, by the way. I love coming across people such as yourself. Oh, yay. Um, yeah, that yoga studio, that interaction was a long, long time ago. Um, I hesitated to even put it online just because I don't want people to feel uncomfortable or afraid of visiting, but unfortunately the fickle, fickle alg algorithm um, loves stories like that. And so I think my content might not be all that all the time, but I think I'm gonna include more stories like that uh, coming forward. I have a ton. If you're a fat person, then you have a ton of stories like that. I have um, stories where people thought I was pregnant. Um, I have stories about when I was breastfeeding and like the rude comments about how I was too fat to be breastfeeding, which I think is ridiculous. <laughs> um, it just, you name it, I've heard it because I don't exactly like live quietly, so to speak. I did for a long time, but like in the last like 10 years, I've really tried to like, and I don't live like super loud either, but I'm not sitting here trying to like make accommodations for the people around me. I'm going to exist how I want to. And then if they are uncomfortable with it, it's really obvious because that those are the people that like say things to me. Um, and it's usually older people, <laughs> occasionally younger people. So um, lots more stories coming your way. I'm kind of excited about this like new content kind of stuff. People like that don't deserve to be in fitness. How can we support you? Um, you can follow me. You can um, register for that uh, free 60 minute yoga class. Um, you can follow me on all the places. I also have a YouTube channel, hundreds of videos. I actually have a 90 day challenge of 30 days to happy hips. So if you have like a super, super tight hips or low back pain, like that series, it's like amazing. I start off in a chair, we go to blocks, we go to the mat every single practice, and I give you like three poses every single day, and by the end of 30 days, you should be feeling less pain. Like, it's insane the amount of like people who have come back to me and go, I've never done this, and thank you. And so, those are like my two most played playlists. I wish I could put more effort into daily practices like that but at that time I was in a different place with like my childcare and things like that and so I was able to create in that way um and now it's I can't create <laughs> that much but those are there forever so um and they're free so that's a great way to um show me support because my YouTube channel is monetized views equal you know monetization so that's really cool when's the free class um it's not a it's not when it's like available anytime so that 60 minute yoga class is linked in my bio it is pre-recorded and so you can watch it at any time you can register for it and it's watching it at your leisure <laughs> most of my stuff is pre-recorded because i don't have um a ton of available hours that are um accessible to the the bigger majority of people um, because I, right now I'm a stay at home mom with my kids. And then during the school year, um, you know, I only have times during the day. And so I'm, it's just very inconsistent. And so it's just better for me to just have everything pre-recorded. I subscribe to your YouTube channel and you have tons. Yes, I do. <laughs> um, what if I have trouble getting on off the floor? Oh, um, almost everything that I do has a chair option. <laughs> everything so if you can't get down to the ground no no problem um just subscribe on youtube thank you thank you for doing that i'm so glad all y'all are here and and like finding all the things that i can offer it's it's insane because i think a lot of times um 
you follow people for a long time you don't even realize what they offer until maybe like they make a connection with you uh for some reason it like sparks a light bulb but um i'm so glad that all of you were able to find it yay <laughs> All right, friends, it is 637. My husband has already made me breakfast, so I'm gonna go enjoy that. And I just appreciate you so much. Um, I will see you tomorrow morning, 6 a.m. Um, we'll be doing this again. Uh, and uh, if you didn't sign up for the, oh look at he's already like giving it to me. So here's my breakfast. <laughs> Isn't he sweet? Um, potatoes, sausage, eggs, a little bit of ketchup, cause he knows I like ketchup with my potatoes. So I'm going to go enjoy this while it's still warm, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Maybe. <laughs>